In Blender version 3.0.1, we are going to make a little plant like this. Let's start. Click this cube to select it, and press X, and enter to delete. Add in a plane by pressing Shift plus A, Mesh, Plane. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view and zoom the view with mouse wheel up until the plane fits to the window. Press S, Y, 0.5 and enter to scale it on the Y axis. Press Tab to enter edit mode. Move your cursor to the top center of the plane, press Ctrl plus R keys to add loop cuts, when you see a yellow mark, scroll your mouse wheel up and down until you get two cuts. Now click to confirm cuts, and left click to release. Place your cursor to the right center of the plane, press Ctrl plus R keys to add loop cuts, when you see a yellow mark, click to confirm and left click to release. Come up here and activate this auto merge vertices tool. This helps us to automatically merge the multiple vertices moved to the same direction. To the right side of this plane click and drag to draw a selection box to select these three vertices. Press S, 0 and enter to scale them all the way down. Select the same type of vertices on the left side either. Scale them down by pressing S, 0.25, and enter. Press A key twice to deselect everything. Now click this little vertex to select it, press and hold the shift key and click these two other vertices to add them to the selection. Press Ctrl plus B keys on the keyboard and pull the mouse cursor outwards to bevel selected edges. Scroll your mouse wheel up and down until you get one edge at the center. Press 0.05 on the number pad and enter. Select this vertex clicking on it. Press G key twice and move the vertex all the way to the right and click to confirm. Zoom the view until you can see the vertices clearly. Now select these three center vertices while pressing shift key. Press 1 on the number pad for the front view. Come over here and click this move icon to activate move tool. Press and hold the control key. Click and drag this blue arrow one grid line down like this. Zoom out a bit with mouse wheel down. Pan the view to the top right with shift plus middle mouse button. Press Z key on the keyboard and select wireframe view. Press A key twice to deselect everything. Click and drag to draw a box to select these center vertices. Press and hold the control key and click and drag this blue arrow two grid line upwards like this. Now draw a box to select vertices on the left side. Press E key to extrude selected vertices. And move them about 5 grid lines left, and about 10 grid lines down and click to confirm. Press R key and rotate these vertices until they are about horizontal, and click to confirm. Now go to the center of the lower part of the object and add a loop cut by pressing Shift plus R keys. Press G key to grab the selected vertices and move them little bit outwards, and rotate them pressing R key something like this. You can also select and rotate these other set of the vertices to make geometry well managed. Again draw a box to select these lowest part of the vertices, then press S, 0 and enter to scale them all the way down. Now press Shift plus S, and select cursor to select it. Press Tab to return back to object mode. Go to this object menu, select Origin, and Origin to 3D cursor. Reset the position of the 3D cursor by pressing Shift plus S, and cursor to World Origin. Again press Shift plus S, and choose Selection to cursor. Now zoom with mouse wheel up or down, pan with Shift plus middle mouse button, and rotate with just middle mouse button until you get the view something like this. Press Z key on the keyboard and select solid. Right click on object and click shade smooth. Finally press Ctrl plus A and apply all transforms. Now add an empty by pressing shift plus A, empty and plane axis. Click this leaf to select it, click this modifier icon, Click Add Modifier and select Array Modifier. 
to increase the leaf count. Increase this count value up to 5. Uncheck this relative offset, and check object offset. Click this arrow to expand object offset settings, click this little object icon and select empty from the list. Come back to viewport area and select empty. Click this icon to open object properties panel, and slowly increase the Z rotation value to distribute leaves in circular way. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier. Click these leaves to select them. Click this modifier icon, click add modifier and select subdivision surface modifier. Scroll up and down in the modifier section to view the subdivision surface settings properly. Increase these viewport and render value up to 3 or 4. Come back to 3D viewport, press Z key on the keyboard and select material preview. Now click this little material icon, click new, click this base color button, choose green color from the color wheel, and make it slightly darker by dragging this point on the side. Click this world icon to view related settings, click the button next to color, and drag the sidebar point all the way down to make it complete dark. Come back to the viewport area and then press 0 key on the number pad for the camera view. Press N key to open some settings to the right side panel. Click on view, and check camera to view. Now zoom, pan and rotate the view until you get your desired camera angle. Once you are done, go to the render menu and click render image. You can save the rendered image by pressing Alt plus S keys on the keyboard. And this was a quick tutorial about how to model a little plant in Blender. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.